sir. Hello. I'm Nikita. I welcome you under the initiative of Thoughts of Education Kalis Dinia. Thank you so much for being uh, accepting my request and uh, we request you to please introduce yourself. Yeah, thank you Nikita. Uh, I'm Dr. Saurabh Shah, Professor and Dean at the School of Technology, GSX University, uh, which is set up as a CSR initiative of GSX Limited. Uh, I have total 20 years of academic experience. Uh, I have received PhD in Computer Science Engineering and my area of research is uh, machine learning, pattern recognition, medical image analysis, computer vision. Uh, during my tenure, I have handled uh, key positions like Dean and Director at other institutes. I am also member of Board of Studies and member of uh, DPC, PhD DPC at various universities. Uh, I have supervised six PhD candidates who have been awarded PhD degree. Uh, I am a lifelong learner and working with the University of Repute, uh, which strives to be the best compact beauty university and focuses on uh, developing industry uh, ready talent pool. So I am proud to be part of GSC students. Thank you. So, so you have held key positions at Education Institute throughout your professional career. What are the key factors that keep you connected with the education sector? Yeah, so I've been in academics for more than 20 years and uh, I've held many key positions like being director at uh, several institutes. And the most motivating factor for me is passion for teaching. And uh, being technology enthusiast, I've always enjoyed implementing technology for teaching learning. And I see such kind of environment at JSF University where environment is very conducive. In fact, I enjoy working with uh, students on innovative projects, which has always boosted a uh, vigor of learning. This is how I've enjoyed it. Thank you. So being the Dean at GSFU, what is your philosophy of leadership? And like, how would you describe your style of leadership? Yeah, so GSFC University has always encouraged participatory management and majority of the decisions are taken by inviting the team members. Uh, in fact, students are also part of decision making process and we have student representations on board of studies, startup committees, library committee and many other academic committees. Uh, I believe and always ensure a healthy work culture and invite opinions of team uh, for achieving the milestone of university uh, while keeping our vision aligned and I enjoy participating management. That's great sir and I think the greenery here also keeps you motivated. <laughs> so sir, as you also know that you know education system uh, in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. So in your experience, what can an inbound student gain from studying your, at your university in your department? Okay, yeah, at uh, foreign universities, education is more practical oriented and student centric. Even industries are also integral part of the university and they work on projects with uh, mutual benefit. While in India, it is more student centric, teacher oriented and uh, more emphasis is given on theory uh, fundamentals. However, at GSFC University, students have advantage of learning from the industry experts uh, during industrial intensive and also course delivery, delivery is imparted by the industry experts. And this is how we also ensure uh, practical education uh, and we have uh, that autonomy of big university. That's great, sir. So, like as you are the Dean of uh, School of Technology at GSFCU, so uh, how does the curriculum at GSFCU ensure the best practice of this? How would you describe that? Yeah, so, yeah, so at GSFC University, uh, the curriculum is finalized by the members of Board of Studies and Academic Council, where 50% of the members are from the industry who ensure that curriculum is industry relevant and industry driven. And uh, we hold meeting of uh, BOS and Academic Council twice a year and we ensure that uh, curriculum is updated on regular interval covering the latest development. 
that's a really nice sir and that's quite relevant so what will be the university's top priority over next 10 years yeah so first of all the topmost priority is any implementation and in fact we already prepared the uh, roadmap and started implementing anything uh, the first priority is implementing multidisciplinary programs uh, in fact we have introduced minor degree uh, in data science ai and ml iot and automation and uh, students from other discipline like uh, BTEC, uh, mechanical may opt for minor degree which will add a lot of value and will increase the employability the next one is introducing specializations in emerging trends based on the emerging trends uh, the third one is introducing PG and PhD programs which has uh, immense relevance with the emerging area the, the next one is strengthening industry connects and extracting more out of the industry partnership by setting up center of excellence uh, by promoting industry driven research and uh, we are also focusing on internationalization and that is our next plan to invite the international students at campus okay that's amazing so what would you like people to know about your university that they may not know Okay, so GSFC University is known because of GSFC Limited, which is six years old industry giant. But I would like to share some unique practices adopted by GSFC University. Uh, the first one is visionary leadership and uh, active involvement of board members in true sense, where their ideas are significant in developing the university and we have board members who are eminent industrialists and educationists from the paper institutes like IITs uh, involvement of uh, industry experts in teaching where 30% of the syllabus is taught by the industry experts who are our adjunct and visiting faculties uh, then the next important one is exemplary model of industrial internship for students in every semester which ensures the students are employed once they graduate. The most important one is mandatory faculty internship which ensures that faculty members are also staying abreast with the latest development and special initiatives for the development of students. Uh, as our, ours is a student centric university, uh, the most important initiative is uh, PINUPS that is President's Initiative for Nurturing Unlimited Potential of Students where we offer special mentorship to those brightest students so that they can attain higher goals uh, we also promote thriving ideas of the students through student managed clubs and we also support uh, startups through guitar council which is section 8 company so we believe in holistic development perhaps these are unique initiatives not known to many that's right so so like do you also conduct any kind of extracurricular activity like maybe cultural program or any workshop yeah we have actually more than 18 student clubs okay and it is completely managed by students okay so we we actually believe in multi faceted development and these all activities and clubs are led by students so we believe in holistic development and we have that kind of conducive environment so lastly, any suggestions that you would like to give to the aspiring youth? Yeah, I see enormous potential in the youth of current generation and I would suggest them to think beyond academics, have an inquisitive mind, understand the challenges of society and nation and come out with innovative ideas to solve such problems. Think about startup as a career option. At this juncture, I would strongly suggest all the aspiring students to make a wise decision uh, when selecting any institute. First, you should look at the philosophy and vision of the university, refer their portal, website, see who are the board members, what is the vision and uh, what is the involvement of those board members in uplifting the institute or university. 
refer the profile of the faculties whether institute has adequate uh, facilities and laboratories set up or not i would strongly suggest to go for the extra exposure beyond academics uh, look at the work culture what are the efforts of institutes for holistic development of the students how is the placement and uh, how are the industry connections look at the good practices of the institutes and then one may take a wise decision of selecting the institutes